What's going on, you guys? It's your boy Sivets here, and today we're doing a bit uh, something a bit different. Today we're doing a story time video, so if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe for more stories. And also, I'm gonna start uploading more frequently, so I'll make a whole update video on that. But today we're gonna get started on the story, the story of my middle school crush, which um, I don't talk to this person at. Well, I never really did, to be honest. Um, it's just kind of like something old at this point um, if you're watching this uh, hi I guess anyways so the story starts and I, I'm I'm gonna say eighth grade yeah I was like eighth grade because I just transferred to the school I'm not gonna name the school because I'm not trying to get like you know because like I still live relatively near it so I don't want like you know people to find me through that but anyways on to the story so uh the story takes place in la i'm not gonna say which like sub city but it's let's just, all you have to know is that it takes place in la now basically i just transferred uh, from a different school to this school because uh my family has moved a lot in the past so yeah i just came to the school you know i was like what 13 i was turning 14 at the time uh later on after that school year so yeah, I was 13 at the time, and then there was this girl, we're just gonna call her Eve, and um, basically this girl was very, well, what I thought was very pretty. I, I haven't seen her recently, so I wouldn't know what she looks like now, um, but yeah, so she was pretty, I suppose, um, and basically... I kind of, see like here's the thing about middle school relationships you don't really care about how the person uh, is you just kind of care about looks at that point middle school relationships are just a joke pretty much you know it, it's nothing nothing's really um, nothing's really intimate intimate at that point in time you know you don't really have a serious relationship even in high school you won't have a serious relationship until you're like sophomore or or sorry, not sophomore. So you're like junior or senior year. But yeah, so I like this girl because of her looks. I'm admitting it. Um, I didn't really know much about her. Like I said, I just moved to that school. Uh, so yeah, I mean, she she looked like a cool person and all that. But, you know, I, I don't know. I, I personally wouldn't date her now unless I got to know her. So yeah, and even then, I'm not really looking for a relationship. So it is what it is. Um, so yeah, basically... Uh, long story short, she's very pretty, and uh, I built up the courage to ask her out someday, but I'll get to that part in a bit, so, see, the problem was, she was one of, like, I, I guess you can call, like, she wasn't a popular girl, per se, she was more of, like, she she hung around a group of people, pretty much, because she was, she's, she's, like, uh, I was gonna say she was, but she is a pretty smart person. Uh, way smarter than me, of course, because I don't pay attention in school that much, uh, which is a bad thing, kids, if you're watching, uh, don't do what I do, but, yeah, so, she's, she's smart, and she hung around with this group that was also smart, and, um, there's this other girl, uh, we're just gonna call her, I don't know, I don't know what to call her, we're just gonna call her Dyer, okay, Dyer, we're gonna call her Dyer. And, uh, basically, this girl was one of her friends. And then there's another girl. We're going to call her Yes. And, uh, basically, they, they, this was, like, the little posse or whatever, I guess you could call it. There's more people, but I'm not going to name everyone, obviously, cause just to uh, save time. And, basically, uh, these people, well, not these people. It was, like, two people. I forget who it was. I think, I believe it was Yes who was in like my science okay so uh since this person like isn't really like related to the story i'm just gonna name him off plus he was a good friend of mine uh if you're watching this video hey what's up angel um hope you're doing good i guess we haven't talked in a while so hit me up on instagram or something but um yeah so there was angel that sat next to me he was pretty cool i like talking to him uh we're not really friends anymore because we don't talk because i just i moved away from that school 
uh, just because like there was a bunch of problems with the school, and I I just wanted to I just wanted to transfer out as fast as I could. So basically, Angel sat next to me. He sat on the left of me, and yes, sat on sat on the like in front of Angel, and then Eve sat next to or just sat right in front of me. Um, yeah, this is gonna take place, like, this is gonna have an importance, like, later on in the story, but just, uh, for now, uh, remember that. So, basically, that happened, and I believe it was after a test, um, uh, me and Angel were talking, or Angel and I were talking, and, um, basically, <laughs> basically, um, Yes was, like, so who do you like and i'm like uh no one and then i i don't know who it was that was there i know it was someone they they talked to me before in the past but i know it was someone they were like he likes eve and i'm like oh no so at that point i was like very embarrassed i don't know why it was so stupid too um i was embarrassed at that point and uh i just kind of like like just kind of you know did that thing where you're just like i mean you know like you, you you're just kind of like embarrassed and you're just like not talking and um basically yes yeah, started teasing about it and was like um was like she's right here you know i mean i heard she's single like you know it's pretty much being like a, a huge tease at that point like being an ass so um basically what i did was i was like no i mean i don't really know what to do so like like the responsible person i am you know you know the one that makes all the good decisions i decide to ask her out anyways like a complete idiot you know i don't know anything about this girl she doesn't know anything about me all she knows is my first name so what the only thing i knew was her first and last name and that's because the teacher would call her by her first and last name so i just kind of memorized it uh, but other than that, days went by, um, by the way, her reaction, like, she didn't even answer because class ended, so, yeah, I asked her out, she didn't answer, uh, days go by, and, uh, obviously, like, the entire school knows now, because, like, it's, like, a charter school, so, uh, everyone knew each other, and word got around really quick, and basically, ah, this is so embarrassing, Okay, basically, time went by, and it's like, okay, so, we were still in the class, right, or whatever, like, same class and everything, and, uh, yes, like, a complete asshole, I don't know if she did this intentionally, or was just genuinely curious, but it came off as such, like, an asshole thing to say, um, she basically goes and says, uh, so, Eve, how's your boyfriend? I'm like, uh... And if you don't know what that feels like, it's basically just saying, hey, buddy, uh, she has a boyfriend, so you might want to back off. And keep in mind, at this point, I was just, like, already done with the whole thing, you know? I was just like, you know what? She has a boyfriend. I should respect that. And, um, yeah, so I just, uh, kind of ignored it. Well, I didn't ignore it. I got pretty mad at that point, and I was just like... I know you're doing this just to make me mad. It's not working. But in reality, little me was pretty mad. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um, basically, after that happened, um, there's a few more things that happened. In high school, uh, I finally... Well, actually, no. In middle school, I got her uh, Snapchat. And then I didn't really text her because I was, like, always nervous, too. And then, like, a complete it, like the complete idiot I am in high school like i believe freshman year i don't know if it's freshman or sophomore uh it was one of those two though uh i think yeah it was freshman year because i stopped thinking about her um sophomore year because i grew up and like i was just like this is dumb i'm pretty much simping for this girl well, obviously no one said simp at that point but y you get what i'm trying to say so at that point i just kind of like that sophomore year, I kind of stopped thinking about her and all that, like, in a romantic way. Uh, just because I didn't know much about this girl, and, you know, it, it was just, like, thing. But before, it was, before all of that, right, before all of that happened, um, I still liked this girl, like, before, uh, I grew up. Um, 
basically what happened was we were texting on Snapchat and um, I built up the curse to ask her out again and uh, like the idiot I am I forgot that she had a boyfriend <laughs> I forgot that she had a boyfriend and I just straight up asked her out and she was like 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 a straight up like a straight up G right she was like I don't think my boyfriend would like that. And, uh... <laughs> man. Man, was I embarrassed. I, okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I literally threw my phone across the room. I, I thought I broke something, but I didn't. So that was good. But, uh, I got so mad. I threw my phone across the room. It was so funny, too. Because I look at this really crap... Here, I'll, I'll put a uh, picture of the phone I had on screen. Uh, I had this phone called the uh, Samsung On5. Which, if you don't know what that is, it's like a like it's like one of those uh, cheap Samsungs. Like it's like the the budget Samsungs, pretty much. So that's what that was, and yeah, I threw I like straight up yeeted it across the room. It was so funny. But looking back at it now, uh, honestly, I didn't. I don't know what I saw in this girl. I mean, yeah, she was pretty. She still is pretty. I think uh, from last time I saw her, of course, she still is pretty from last time I saw her. I don't know about her now, but yeah, that, that pretty much concludes the story. Um, if you guys want to hear the, the other story about how I got played and technically cheated on by my like my best friend at the time, uh, or like sorry, I, that came out weird. Basically, if you guys want to hear the story of how my friend got with my my girlfriend at the time, we weren't even like really official. We never were official, to be honest. But if you guys want to hear the story about he's, how he straight up stole my girl, uh, leave a like and tell me down below what your favorite part of the video was. And uh, yeah, this is me, Sivetia, and I'm out. Peace. See you guys in the next one.